The composition of the Earth's core remains a mystery. Scientists know that the liquid outer core consists mainly of iron, and according to current models, small amounts of so-called light elements, possibly sulfur, oxygen, silicon, carbon, or hydrogen. Oxygen is the most abundant element in the planet, so it's reasonable to expect oxygen might be one of the dominant light elements in the core. However, new research from a team including Yingwei Fei of Carnegie's Geophysical Laboratory shows that oxygen does not have a major presence in the outer core. This has major implications for our understanding of the period when the Earth formed through the accretion of dust and clumps of matter. Scientists can't sample the core directly, so they have to learn about it through improved laboratory experiments combined with modeling and seismic data. With increasing depth inside the Earth, pressure and heat also increase, and as a result, materials act differently than they do on the surface. Scientists know the variations in density and speed of sound as a function of depth in the core from seismic observations, but to date it has been difficult to measure these properties in proposed iron alloys at core pressures and temperatures in the laboratory. They shock these materials to the liquid state and measure their density and speed of sound traveling through them under conditions directly comparable to those of the liquid outer core. By comparing their data with observations, they conclude that oxygen cannot be a major light element component of the Earth's outer core. The research revealed a powerful way to decipher the identity of the light elements in the core. Further research should focus on the potential presence of elements such as silicon. Portions of this work were supported by grants from the National Natural Science Foundation of China, the Fundamental Research Funds for the Central Universities, the National Basic Research Program of China, as well as the National Science Foundation and the Carnegie Institution for Science. The research is published in the November 24th issue of Nature. The Carnegie Institution has had over 100 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.